How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. My name is Jake. I am currently sitting in the cab of the International Truck. Um, I just recently got it back from my buddy who did its annual federal uh, inspection and it passed with flying colors. He said it was actually in better condition than when he sold it to me. Um, I, I hope it was because I put a whole new transmission and clutch in the thing. Um, but uh, today we are headed down to do a small pruning tree job. It's gonna be Joe and I. Um, we're both gonna be climbing. I think there's like three or four trees that need to get pruned. Um, this is an existing client who I've worked for multiple times in the past. Um, normally we're doing some bigger stuff, but we kind of finally after like two or three years um, got everything on the property for the most part are under control. And we're just doing some preventative, you know, maintenance pruning and stuff like that. Um, so I'll be able to strap the action camera to the hard hat and take you guys up into the trees with me and uh, you'll actually be able to see me climb for once and we can talk about some of the different pruning techniques and why we're making certain cuts and uh, to basically see a day in the life of an arborist and tree climber. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy. All right guys, just hooked up to the chipper. We are uh, here at this uh, actually keep the chipper out like this logging place a um, bunch of companies keep equipment and stuff here got a mondo pile of chips bunch of equipment whole tree chipper sitting over there let's go get to work it's august 20th and we're already getting fall colors here a lot of the tulip trees or uh poplar as a lot of you guys call it starting to get yellow some of the birches starting to go yellow. Okay guys, we are here at the job. Got Joe's truck, got the International with the chipper backed in, uh, the tarp on the can. So this oak tree is going to get some work done to it. It is a massive oak tree. There's a huge spread on it. Um, we're gonna be bringing it back off the house and uh, just basically getting the big dead. You can see this big dead piece up there. Um, some dead out over there. Uh, raising it up over the road in the driveway. Um, we have the house drop here for the power and uh, communications, so we gotta be careful of that. As we come around to the back, we have another oak right here. Um, again, just gonna be bringing it back off the house, raising it up dead wood, stuff like that. Um, get a better view when the sun isn't facing the camera, but there's a big dead piece out over the roof over there. Um, a real big one up over my head right there, you can see. And this one's starting to get pretty crispy, so we'll take that one off too. And the third tree is this hickory. Uh, this one's probably the easiest, but uh, we're just going to be basically taking off the the branches like the trunk suckers going up to that main split right up there um, get some more sunlight to the roof they're starting to get a little bit of moldy you know moss fungus so uh that should help things out so that's basically it all right guys so here you're gonna see me using my throw ball to uh set my rope in the first tree I'm gonna climb and Joe is behind me using his to set his rope in uh, that hickory tree the throw ball is basically just a weighted bag um, ranging anywhere from like 8 to 16 ounces on a really light um, but very strong string and uh, you basically throw it up um, there's different ways to do it but you throw it up into the tree and you try and isolate it around the branch or in the crotch that you want your main rope to be in and then uh, once you get it you can use it to pull up your main climbing line and uh, it's a big time saver over uh, you know using a ladder to get up you know 15 20 feet and then constantly having to reset your rope higher and higher as you move up um, this method you can basically set it from the ground all the way up in the top of the tree and uh, start at the top and work your way down all right, guys, Joe's headed up that first hickory, got his line set, and I got my throw ball in this oak for uh, as soon as he gets down. I'll start heading up this oak. 
chipper in position, so uh, we're looking good. So Joe made it up into the hickory tree no problem, and uh, he immediately starts cutting off the branches we had talked about, raising them up to that first main crotch. Um, I am fiddling around with the camera down there, but uh, one important thing about uh, being a ground guy or when you have a, a guy up in the tree climbing is to always keep his rope clear um, because that slack end of the rope that's down on the ground uh, always needs to be free in order for the climber to repel um, or come down in case there's an emergency or bees or anything like that. This time of year, um, we always carry a can of bee spray with us at the base of the tree because uh, the bees know that their time is limited, um, as we like to say, and they start getting a little bit more aggressive. But uh, Joe made quick work of this hickory, and the uh, customer was happy, and then I'm going to start heading up into uh, the oak I set my rope in earlier. All right guys, got you on the helmet cam here. Uh, you'll see how this works. So here I'm attaching my throw line, which I previously set in the oak tree, to my climbing line. I do that first with a girth hitch and then a couple half hitches. Um, and then uh, you can just see, simply pull the climbing line up and uh, into the tree. Usually it works pretty well. Sometimes uh, you can hit a couple snags on branches and stuff, but um, for the most part, it uh, goes pretty smooth.
All right, guys, getting ready to head up this oak. Here we go. I got my foot ascender on. This will help once I get a little bit off the ground. Okay guys, so here I'm headed out on the first branch of this oak. Um, there's a dead piece that's like right down below, um, kind of where my right foot is now. Um, so here I'm undoing my buckstrap or positioning lanyard that just helps keep me in place on the branch. Um, here I am putting it around the tree, back to the other side of my saddle, pulling it tight. And now I'm going to pull up my chainsaw I always ascend up the tree as far as I can before I need uh, the chainsaw. Um, it's just, you know, 10 pounds less that I need to haul up with me um, on the way up. And then uh, attach it to my chainsaw lanyard on the saddle. And then um, I can untie my climbing line from the saw. And we're basically ready to go. All right, guys, I'm gonna take this branch that my right foot is currently standing on. It's starting to die back at the end there, and uh, this little branch isn't really doing much for, for anything. Um, so on this piece, I'm probably gonna lose this whole one, and then, uh, I don't know if you can see, but that branch out there that's going straight over the house. The rest of this limb is kind of going parallel with the house, um, so I'm not too concerned with it. This tree out of the three, probably gonna get the least amount of work done to it it's another dead branch over there you guys can probably see um, so first of a couple cuts here we go <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm going to be resetting my rope here, so I just like to tie a stopper knot. <laughs> <laughs> 
<coughs> in it so it doesn't fall back down through. And basically, by recrotching my rope, I'm going to be moving it from that crotch up higher to that crotch because my goal is to get over to that branch and limb walk out to get uh, that dead piece out over there. Um, and it's much easier to get up and position yourself on a branch when you're not tied into that exact branch. You always want your tie-in spot to be higher up than where you're actually going. Um, so that's the goal here. Now I'm going to tie what we call a monkey's fist. Bless you. It's just a coil of rope. Wrap it around a couple times. And then basically girth hitch it around to itself. Like so. And now I can put this on the pole saw, which Joe is actively tying on right now. So, here's the pole saw. I have my pole saw lanyard right here, which I'll clip onto the scabbard. Now I use the pole saw to send my rope up and into that crotch, hopefully. I gotta grab my carabiner. Right there, and bada boom. Jake, you good to ship or are you doing your video? Yeah, no, go ahead. All right, guys, I'm gonna take this big dead one out. It goes all the way out and then dog legs off towards the lawn. Joe just moved a bird feeder underneath, so here we go. Expecting the hickory to spring like that. Thank God. Okay, guys, I just moved my rope from right here to back up there. Again, all about positioning. I'm gonna be walking out on this limb to get that dead one that's drooping out over there, and then I spotted another big dead one right up above where my uh, rope is. But I'm thinking if I stand on this limb right below where my rope is, I should be able to get it with the pole saw. So now I'm going to uh, walk out on this limb and uh, should be wrapping up this tree shortly here.
All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much a wrap for up here right now. Um, I'm just gonna start rappelling my way down and chasing a couple hangers. I need some water. All right, guys, Joe's about to start heading up this first half of this big oak over here. Um, he's gonna have some stuff coming down on the road, so I'm gonna need to uh, keep that clear. And once he's done, I'm going to head up the other half. Um, in the meantime, I gotta put a new chain on my topper. It's uh, way overdue for a new chain, so. Some of these teeth are just like absolutely gone. Picked these up yesterday, the normal place where I go to uh, buy my chainsaw stuff. Um, the entire store was on vacation. Um, I don't know, I guess they all decided to go on vacation at once. So I had to go with one of these Oregon chains just from the hardware store. It's the uh, only thing I could find last minute. I thought I had a spare steel chain in the truck, but when I went to pick it up, um, it was a spare 20 inch chain, not a 16 inch. So we will see how this Oregon chain does. Guys, so Joe has brought down a bunch of deadwood already. Now he's uh, gearing up to take down this big limb. Um, he's just gonna let it fly. There's nothing really below it. Um, he's gonna box it so that it lands to the right of this walkway here. But uh, get a first-hand perspective here. taking that whole branch off anyway so there's this flush cut boom totally avoided the walkway nice job joe that help you out a little bit oh yeah took off a big sucker for me <laughs> nice let's fire up the chipper and uh we'll start cleaning up he's wrapping up on his side i got my rope set over here this red one um pulled the com lines out of the way and the house drop uh, just with this rope give us a little extra room but um i got my rope you could follow it all the way up there um which normally i would have it more towards the center of the tree but since i'm going to be walking limb walking all the way out it helps to have it more above you that way it's not pulling me back towards the center of the tree while i'm all the way out here um so i'm going to walk all the way out and then we're going to take small pieces um, at first because it's over the house and then I can basically just start chunking down larger pieces of uh, limb wood as I work my way back um, and I got some dead wood up there you can see a little hanger um, but this side really isn't too too bad all right guys I'm about to head up um, on my side of the oak tree Joe is almost done um, got most of that side all cleaned up and raked up trucks out of the way 
I took a minute to set up a lowering line over here it's just out on a small branch but I'm not going to be lowering anything big my uh, thinking is is that uh, instead of cutting each individual branch um, and then having to hand throw it down um, it would be easier to tie off just small branches and have them swing out and over this way to get away from the house um, so once Joe's down we'll be able to do that uh, my game plan is to basically head up on my rope go all the way up to the top and work my way back down that way by the time Joe's done I'll be um, out on this limb and uh, ready for him he's got he said like 15 more minutes of getting some deadwood out over the road and parking area so um, I'm gonna saddle up and uh, we will head up into the tree Since Joe's not going to be on the ground, I just got to get my hole saw all ready and set, tied onto my line along with my chainsaw. Um, normally Joe or whoever's on the ground would tie it on for the climber once they ask for it, but I don't know when he'll be down and I don't know when he's going to need it or when I'm going to need it. So rather be prepared that new chain seems to be cutting pretty good by the way all right now to ascend because there's no real branches around or the trunk, I'm so far out. I'm gonna be using a foot ascender and what they call a haas, which is basically like a knee ascender. And they, uh, they work in conjunction with each other. And basically you can use the power of your legs to help you ascend up into the tree. Um, so foot ascender goes on my right foot. Haas goes on my left foot, clips on right there. I clip in right here and uh, I always want to check, check your time point. So I think we're good. Uh, I got to get up maybe like 10 feet. I'll have enough weight of the rope to uh, be able to use the foot ascender and the knee ascender. So here we go. All right, guys, we made it up. Up here, it's like five feet shy of my tying point. Got a couple dead pieces here dead plug in front of me and then uh, some dead down there and of course the big limb we got to fully remove uh, so I'm gonna get these senders off and uh, pull up my chainsaw and pulsa set up here gonna head start heading down
Joe, can you get me that lowering line? Yeah, I'm going to take the bottom part of this just to take a little weight off this one. Uh, all right. Is that going to be all right? No, 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 it's going to be fine, but I can't get this to you with... Oh, you know what? I got, I got the pulse off. Hold on. No, just, I got it. Got it. Hold on, hold on. Let, let me tie back on my pulse. Okay. All right guys, so here, um, as you heard me mention, I'm taking a little weight off this branch that's uh, up over the house. Um, just tied a running bowl in there, which is a pretty standard knot uh, that we use in tree work for arborist work. Um, basically, no matter how much weight you put on it, um, you can always essentially get it untied, which is uh, one of the really nice features right, of it. it. You little, can also set it from the ground um, if necessary. Uh, uh, what I'm kind of doing here right now is I'm making sure that the rope is totally underneath me. Um, that way when that, I cut that piece and it falls, uh, the rope doesn't pull me back in towards the tree. Um, since the goal here was to use the rope to swing uh, yeah, pieces like away from the tree, the, the rope where it is in the tree is essentially off to my left there, as you can see. So if it was any part of it was running over me, it would, uh, the way the branch would pull me. All right, guys, we're looking good. Uh, one piece gave us a little, a little bit of trouble, but uh, I just gotta get this. Uh, One branch here, there's a big dead stub on the end. It's gonna cut off. And then uh, be headed down to the main course, which is basically a big branch. All right guys, we're standing on this limb. It's the big limb that's gonna come off totally. So I'm gonna start just bombing down these couple pieces. And then uh, I have the lowering line attached to my harness here. So uh, I can lower out the stuff um, on the tips that's over the house. Headache. Should be good. All right, guys, that first one went smooth without a hitch. Going to uh, Work on this next one.
Ready? guys that was the hard part the rest should be easier taking this road back you're gonna bomb um i'll take it back for like this one and then the rest i'll just bomb just give me a second Fucking pulse saw. Yeah. So do a butt wrap on this one? Yeah, do a butt burner in honor of Chris. Chris always wearing those Levi jeans, so I got these. No, I'm surprised he hasn't burned through his, honestly. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, he played lacrosse? Yeah. Yeah, I played with him. All right, let's pick a card in your mailbox. Who are you? What's your last name? Pollock. Pollock. I, he was like uh, a year a year ahead of me, I think. Okay. I was 2011. He was nine. Okay, so two years. Okay. Whatever that is, nine, ten, oh, yeah. No. Yeah, Jake Alexander. Yeah. Casey yeah. Lillis. Yeah. yeah, Jake Alexander's like my best friend. Yeah, I go down and visit him in Costa Rica every year. I grew up on Valeview, right off range. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We only helped him out do his back surgery day, but he got all fucked up. What'd you bring him weed? <laughs> well, we should have probably. <laughs> he had plenty of that. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely. I want. You got a car, but I'll be back. I'm just going. You to got a car, right? Yeah, I got a card in my wallet. All right, leave it I'm in the mailbox. I'm just running down to grab another one. I bought a cord of wood. I'm just stacking it in my garage, so. Oh. I'll be back in like half hour. Should have bought the cord from me. Got wood, too. I didn't know you were going to come for it. I'll get you for the rest of it, buddy. <laughs> All right, bring him back to the guy. See that, guys? Always making connections. All right, we got this last oh, one or two cuts here. I gotta get on this side. Well guys, that's gonna wrap this one up. Um, seems like it's a trend where I consistently forget to film the ending of these tree job videos. Um, it's usually because a customer comes out and wants to pay me and talk about future tree work or a neighbor comes out or something and uh, I just forget. So we are obviously back home. Um, I dumped the chips on site there and uh, just dropped off the chipper back to where I park it. So now I'm just unloading the truck. Um, we got Louie and there's Gus. They were very good boys all day. Um, so yeah, um, customer was super happy. Neighbor came out, wants tree work done on his property. Um, so I'm going to have to shoot him an estimate in the next couple of days or so. Um, but, you know, all's well that ends well. So um, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you found this enjoyable. I'm thinking I'm probably, or I, I already did, I don't know. I'm thinking right now that I'm going to do a lot of voiceover in this video. So you probably already saw the voiceover if you made it to the end of the video. Um, just to kind of explain what's going on, let me know in the comments below if you like that style for these kind of videos where I can't actively be narrating everything. Um, and yeah, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Haven't done so already, click that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. Questions, comments, feedback, throw it down in that comment section. But for now, I'm Jake. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you here next time.